terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. By the way, as predicted by your humble host, what did I tell you? They would have Trump charged. We, and we had James Comey saying what I've said weeks ago, the former head of the FBI, laughing on television about how Trump is going to be in a monitoring bracelet, having been arrested multiple times when he accepts the nomination. Comey's saying that. Yeah, we'll have him on a monitoring bracelet. We intend to arrest him several more times. I wouldn't put him in prison before he can take the overall office. He's literally on TV threatening this, laughing about it, former director of the FBI. That's how out of control they are. But I told you, I told you, they will do it to DeSantis too. And I've been, I've been keeping my eye on these two cases um, because they got him queued up just in case DeSantis takes off. And just as I predicted, never doubt me, even when I'm saying something you don't want to hear. Headline, Texas Sheriff recommends criminal charges after completing investigation into DeSantis's migrant flights to Martha's Vineyard. So once again, we have exactly what the FBI and the DOJ is doing to Trump in two cases with a special prosecutor, prosecuting Trump for what Joe Biden did. But not Joe Biden. Bexar County Sheriff, that is a blue county and a Democrat sheriff, Javier Salazar, the chief thug in charge there, opened a criminal investigation in September into Florida Governor Ron DeSantis's operating setting Operation Sending Illegal Immigrants to Martha's Vineyard. Now, Joe Biden does this every day. He's literally trafficking human beings in violation of federal law, and nobody cares because he's Joe. Meanwhile, more than 5 million illegals have poured over the border, and Joe Biden has moved millions of them into the interior, exactly what DeSantis did. Not only that, more than 50 illegals at one point were found dead in a trailer in San Antonio because of Joe Biden's open border policies. They were being moved by the nonprofits with your money. But does the sheriff care? No. No, the real crime is DeSantis sending a few dozen aliens to a sanctuary city that proudly declared they welcome all migrants. He sent them to Martha's Vineyard, where the rich little white liberal ladies were so offended to have to actually look upon a minority. Minorities are for, for those for those red areas. That's they're, they're for that. It's, it's the, the other untouchables. Just lump them all in there together. The minorities, the red folk, all them. The re- red folk, I mean, Trump voters, Republican voters, MAGAs. You know, the deplorables. But when DeSantis flies 50 illegals to a liberal haven, all hell breaks. You know what they're going to do? Same thing. Oh, same thing. You'll see them. In- He's being hauled off to Bexar County. To be tried on criminal charges, which, you know, is very normal now. This is is the same pattern in New York. Folks, we got, I mean, can someone on our side do this? I mean, the guy guy is almost in your face with these crimes. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terror Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D, the voice of the Carolinas.